Shalom everybody. So I'm here in Toronto, Canada, uh, holding a few speaking events and meeting with Jewish and Christian communities here. Now, I have to speak to you guys uh, in between my meetings and events that I'm holding here because the UN Human Rights Office has officially announced that Israel is the one that killed the Palestinian journalist uh, for Al Jazeera, Shirin Abu Akleh, in May. Now, if you're not following the story, this journalist was uh, killed in the city of Jenin, a Palestinian city, while reporting a story about a clash between Israeli forces and Palestinian terrorists. Now, they are blaming Israel without any investigation. No investigation was conducted. Israel offered to hold a joint investigation in order to find the truth. Israel requested to get the bullet that was pulled out of Shirin Abu Akhle because we wanted to investigate and to get to the core of this, to find the facts. But they, the Palestinian Authority, did not want to share the bullet with us. Very interesting, why? Uh, why wouldn't you share the bullet if you don't have anything to hide? Now, given the fact that no investigation was conducted, and yet the UN, the CNN, the BBC, and all these uh, media outlets are, bl are just blaming Israel, it's just preposterous. It's this rhetoric is, is like, you know, if my phone doesn't work, if your phone doesn't work, just blame Israel. Your light in the room doesn't work, just blame Israel. Your computer doesn't work, just blame Israel. Don't investigate. This is their thinking, that this is just absurd. First of all, it's tragic that a journalist was killed and an, ev an investigation should be conducted. But it's the videos that are coming from the scene show that Palestinian terrorists were shooting indiscriminately in within Palestinian neighborhoods, shooting between houses where Palestinian families live. They don't care if they hit their own people. I'm telling you. Because even if they do so, they know that they will use it for their propaganda machine to just blame Israel. They don't care if their own people die because they don't care about their own people. They hate Israel more than they love their own people. They just want to hate and destroy Israel. This is their ultimate goal. You know, and free Palestine, what does it mean? It means to actually destroy the state of Israel and to establish a Palestinian state, not next to Israel, but on the top of Israel. And frankly, they're not happy that we are fighting back and not allowing this to happen. So to make a long story short, this is modern day anti-Semitism. Today, anti-Semitism is appearing in the disguise of anti-Israelism, anti-Zionism. This, the fact that Israel is being treated like the punching bag of the, the world's problems, this is anti-Semitic, and we should not allow that. And the fact that Israel is being blamed for something that was not even investigated, this is absurd, and this should concern us, because the UN should fight for justice, should find the truth, should represent weaker societies. But instead of doing that, they are fighting the only the one and only democracy in the Middle East, the one country that actually cares for the Palestinians more than their own leaders. So um, this is basically the, the current breaking news that, are, uh, that we are facing with. Uh, I do ask you to share this video. The truth must be out there. We should fight to get the truth out there to as many people as possible. Uh, I'm here, again, as I've said in Canada, I'm continuing to represent us represent the facts, the truth, proudly. I'm not ashamed of uh, being an Israeli Jew. I'm not ashamed of uh, our truth because the truth is on our side. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I tremendously appreciate this. Shabbat Shalom.